Hi friends, welcome to the channel and shackling sudokus and puzzles. Ashish here and today I am back with an other classic sudoku by T Chen. So this sudoku was uh, posted on Puzzle Expo, LMI Puzzle Expo, uh, new feature uh, launched on LMI where authors can actually uh, you know create uh, sudokus and upload there and other solvers can actually solve that sudoku. So it's a really good website and uh, people uh, many authors uh, upload their sudokus and puzzles on the website and there are too many solvers who solve them uh, get their ratings uh, find, uh, you know compete with other solvers it's a really fun uh, thing to do and uh, really many solvers are enjoying that you can even comment on a puzzle particular puzzle or a sudoku and that's uh, too many features in it you can uh, just have a look at the puzzle expo so this uh, particular sudoku is taken from puzzle expo and is uh, uh, designed by T Chen. So I really thank the author uh, for such a wonderful classic Sudoku. This classic Sudoku was uh, what was a viewer's request, and I really thank all our, all our viewers to uh, you know for motivating us to create or you know cover videos on regular basis. So let's see if we are able to crack this Sudoku or not. It's a really good Sudoku as suggested uh, to me by uh, by my viewer. So uh, let's see if we are able to crack this Sudoku. So before going to the puzzle, I would uh, highly recommend you to please subscribe to the channel and shackling sudokus and puzzles if you haven't done so it will really motivate us to cover videos on regular basis and if at all you have a request for any sudoku variant or a puzzle genre you can let us know in the comment below and we'll surely make a video on it and now coming back to this sudoku so classic sudoku rules apply you need to place digits from 1 to 9 in each row each column and 3 into 3 box without repetition so with that let's start solving this sudoku I see you get a 3 in one of these two cells, 1 in one of these two cells, 2 in one of these two cells and 8. So you have a 2 8 pair here. Okay, 3 5 and 4, 3 4 and 5. Okay, so this has to be 4 and 5. This cell cannot be a 5 here. So you get a 2 in one of these two cells. Uh, 3 in one of these two cells, 9 in one of these two cells. You got a 5 here. We got our first digit here, 5. And then you got a 5 in one of these two cells. Five in one of these two cells and you got a five in these two cells, okay. Two, three, and eight. Two. You have two in one of these two cells in this column, in this row. No other place you can get a two here, neither here or nor here. So seeing the number of givens, I thought it could be an easy one. Uh, there are too many givens here, but I just got one digit uh, using basic techniques maybe I must I might be missing something here Come on, should I try and mark all these columns because and um, I see that there are too many givens in a single row or a column. Let's try and see what happens if you uh, use them 1, 2, 8 and 9. So 2 and 8 won't be here, 1 and 2, both of these cells cannot be 9 cannot be 8 2 3 1 3 4 
one four five and six one four five six one four five six one and four four seven Nine has to be none of these two cells, but I don't see it's helping us much. Okay. One four six seven nine. Six seven. This column can have seven in only one of these two cells. Okay, that is something that uh, we should look for. Okay, I I can use even this uh, row for now. Okay, one two four six seven. I see a uh, six seven six seven here. Can we use a W wing here? Anywhere I am not sure, but we can try that. I can use this uh, one. Okay, two seven eight and nine. There has to be something tricky here. Maybe W wing. Oh no, I mean to say Y wing because there are too many by value candidates here. So I could uh, suspect something of Y wing here. You have four, five, three, four. We need three, five to uh, you know trigger the Y wing. I have two, three, three, four. I need two, four again to trigger the Y wing. Five six six seven and five seven again. I have a four seven here, but not five seven. If I remove five from here, I could trigger that seven cannot be in any of these two cells. But I'm not sure if I could eliminate six seven five six and five seven six from this cell. Or the moment I remove six from this cell, this cell becomes a six. And that's not. Uh, Now uh, one two two three. I need one three again. Oh, I see something very fishy here, guys. Come on. I saw one two. I saw two three. I saw three four. I saw four five. Five six. Six seven seven eight eight nine. What an amazing chain it's forming here. This has to be something intended. I am damn sure this has to be intended. This cannot be, you know, coincidence. 
Okay, I have 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9. How can I use this? And 1, 9. Oh, it forms a chain here. That's an amazing logic, guys. It forms a chain here. I'm not sure how uh, it would help us, but I could see that it's forming a chain here. For that, what I would have to do is, so one has to be in one of these two cells. So what happens here is, okay, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, and 9, 1. So you form a continuous cycle here. It starts from 1. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, and it ends at again 1, 9, 1. So which means, one has to be in one of these two cells. Now, what happens if you don't have a one in one of these two cells? Let us assume we have a nine here and a two here. Let us assume we don't have one in one of these two cells. You got a three here, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again you'll get a nine here. Amazing. So this in this case, what happens is one has to be in one of these two cells. Two has to be in one of these two cells. Okay, so that's fine. Three has to be in one of these two cells only. So this cell cannot be a 3. 4 has to be in one of these two cells only. This cell cannot be a 4. 5 has to be in one of these two cells only. This cell cannot be a 5. 6 has to be in one of these two cells only. 7 has to be in one of these two cells only. 8 has to be in one of these two cells only. So this cell is only 5 or a 9. And... Uh, This cell can only be 5 or a 9 and 9 has to be in one of these two cells only. Okay, so that is also eliminated. But how does it help us? The bigger question is this. So I think I got one thing that 5 has to be in one of these two cells only. So this cell cannot be a 5. This cell would have to be a 5. This is 1, 4, a 7. You get a 2, 8 pair here. So 8 has to be in one of these two cells only. This cell is not an 8. Okay, amazing guys. The moment I got a 2 8 pad, 2 cannot be here. 2 is not here, 2 is not here. 2 has to be in one of these two cells. So which means you get a 2 here. Wow, what an amazing classic this is, what an amazing classic, that too gives you a 7 here, now you got everything here, am I right, you cannot have 9, you cannot have 8 because 8 has to be in one of these two cells, so this is 8, 9, 1, 2, 8, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6, 7, five guys how what more actually you would need in a sudoku these kind of techniques guys these kind of techniques actually make a sudoku really really amazing oh this is two and this is eight seriously i'm very much excited very much fascinated with the logic here and i really thank uh teacher for such a wonderful sudoku um, uh, I really enjoyed this one. Let's see if there is something else uh, still because you have not uh, completed it. Okay. 1, 4, 6 and 7. So this has to be 1. Uh, 4, 6 and 7. So 4, 6 and 7. This cell cannot be a 1. 
so you get a one here that gives you four one one four this is seven that is six this is four so this has to be seven five six eight and nine so six this has to be eight or a nine so that gives you a nine here that gives you a four here right okay these cells cannot be seven so it has to be one four and six this has to be four or a seven this is eight nine You have a four six pair here, so you need two and a three. So this is three. That is two. That gives you a three here. Removes from the four from this cell. One six and eight. So this cell would have to be an eight six one seven four six one. Oh. No, I have two ones here in this column. I did. I think I just uh, shouldn't have written the one here because one was already in that uh, column. I'm sorry. It is four, six, seven, and nine. Extremely sorry. Okay. Yeah, this cell would have to be a one. So that eliminates one from ah. Uh, that eliminates one from these two cells. This cell is a two here. Six, seven, and eight. So this is seven and eight. Seven has to be one of these two cells. So this is eight. Six and seven. So this is six, seven. Four one four seven six and five seven here six nine four so this is one you need two and three so this is three two. Eight and four, right? Can be anywhere. So this cell cannot be a four. This is six or seven. This is nine, six, four, six, seven, and six, seven and a four, three and eight. So eight, three, eight, and a four. Or oh, you have. One and a five. No, sorry, one and a nine. Amazing! What an amazing Sudoku, guys! I would rate this for a four five stars here. That was amazing logic here. I really enjoyed uh, solving this Sudoku. Uh, there, there was a really good, uh, you know, intended solve path uh, designed in this Sudoku with a chain with one to nine. So you had uh, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, and nine, one. That chain help us to actually eliminate five from this cell. You got a five here, but that wasn't helpful. The main part was getting a two eight pair here. That gives you a uh, gives you a two in one of these two cells, a pointing of two, and that directly gives you a two here and seven here, and that breaks the chain, and we get all the digits in the chain. Amazing logic. So I hope you enjoyed this Sudoku. I really enjoyed this Sudoku, and thanks a lot to our viewers for uh, you know uh, requesting such a wonderful Sudoku to us. I didn't solve this Sudoku earlier, and this is my first solve, but amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this Sudoku. Do like and comment if you want us to solve any other Sudoku variant or a puzzle genre, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.